add a little bit of wet line and you will be fine. Hire me, wet line, hire me. You know what I'm saying? Because that was, that was kind of fire. No? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Subscribers, what it do, y'all? What it do, fam? I miss y'all. I'm sorry I have been, I've been gone, but I'm back now. And if you are new, hello, welcome to the fam. Thank you for clicking on my video. I do too much on my hands. Like, I don't know what this is. But today I'm doing a review of some clippings. What happened is I recorded this whole video, the unpackaging of it. I did all of my hair, I did everything, I installed the clippings, and then I have some issues with some of my files got corrupted. So I'm redoing this whole video, guys, which is crazy. I was really upset, but I'm redoing the whole video. So I have a little bit of footage that was still saved. So I actually am gonna show some of it here. So I am doing a review of the natural me clippings by the janet collection um the hair was really nice when i took it out of the package unfortunately it doesn't like look like that now because i've worn it all day but i'm just gonna show you like what it looked like straight out of the package you know what i'm saying i got it in 18 inch it was sent to me to review so i did not spend my own money on this but it was sent to me by the janet collection and i'm going to be using two packs of this hair okay I tried using one pack, it didn't work, it wasn't enough hair, uh, so yeah, so I'm using two packs because, yeah. Alright guys, just to show you guys what I'm working with with my hair, I have some leave out right here, okay, and then the rest is in um, some twades, some braids slash twists um, that I have in my hair, I don't know if you guys could tell, and then it's like in a little bun down here, I'm just gonna leave the bun in because like it's fine, you won't see it anyways. So I'm going to be essentially putting the clip-ins around this leave out here. Um, and then I'm just going to blend my hair on top. All right. So my clip-ins unfortunately don't look, well, not unfortunately, but they don't look like how it looks out of the package, obviously, because I've worn them all day. Um, they were co-washed yesterday, but they still look good for a whole day of wear. So in a way, it's kind of good that like my files did get corrupted because now you guys can see what it looks like like after wearing them and how they hold up so this is one clip in so what i did when i first put them in which actually i'm going to spray them a little bit to kind of get the stiffness out because you know when you wear clippings for like a while they get a little stiff so i'm just spraying them with some water just to get some of the stiffness out to put them back in my hair so i'm actually going to take the three clip weft I'm gonna move my uh, leave out out of the way. I'm gonna make like a U part, like a U kind of around my leave out. So I'm gonna put one clip here, one clip here, and one clip here. And the reason why I start at the front of my hair is because you don't wanna run out of hair like say I started at the back and I'm going up and up and up and then I run out of hair and I don't have enough hair for the front. Obviously the front matters more than the back because that's what you can see. And then if you have hair up here, it's gonna cover like all the back cave here. So it makes more sense to start at the front, at least in my opinion. So I'm gonna start with the three clip. Oh, I got some tangleage back here. Now I'm gonna take one of the four clip wefts, which look like this. By the way, this is what the construction of the wefts look like very thick it looks very well put together um sewn in nicely i don't really know like the terminology but i just noticed that this band is really thick which is nice and it has a good amount of hair in the clip you can see how thick that is right so really good quality i really 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 like these clippings it is supposed to mimic horsey hair I don't think it's necessarily 4C, but I definitely think it mimics type 4 hair. Like if you wet it and put products in it to define it, it could mimic 4A hair. Like if you comb it out a little bit, maybe 4B, and then if you comb it out all the way 4C. Um, I don't think it looks like 4C defined curls. Like if you're 4C and you have coils, it doesn't necessarily look like that. I feel like the coils are a little bit looser, but it definitely is art. It definitely is good for us four type four girls which i have around 4b so i mean i don't i mean i'm trying to get away from hair typing but i would say i'm around a 4b um 
my density doesn't really matter because my hair is tucked away but yeah so I'm gonna make another U with the four clip one here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm leaving about an inch of space between so I'm actually gonna move it a little bit closer to the three clip left just so that I don't have any tracks showing sometimes when you put your clip ins too far apart and you don't have any light like, hair out in the back you're able to see the tracks more so I'm gonna move it a bit closer so I don't know if you can see that but that's kind of how far it is there's a space there it's kind of how far it is okay so I'm gonna go in with my second for clip weft All right, so now I have all the hair in, and now I'm gonna work on blending my hair into the hair. But as you can see, even before I like really work on blending it, you can see how well it actually matches my hair texture. Like, look at that, y'all, it's crazy. And I didn't even like wet my hair or nothing. So I'm gonna wet it a little bit. And it has a ton of wet line already. So, like from wearing it today. But I'm gonna add a little bit more just to make it blend a bit better. And I'm wetting my hair a lot because I have to wet my hair a lot to get it to be defined. So here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of wet line and then I'll be fine. You know, like add a little bit of wet line and you will be fine. Hire me, wet line, hire me. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was that was kind of fire. No? Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna add some of this wet line to my hairline. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Fun fact, my mom was a rapper. And, you know, I can't rap, but it's a fun fact, so, yeah. So, as you guys can see, I'm adding the gel here. I'm trying to blend it as well as I can. Sometimes, you know, do a little twist can help that. And my edges look... I'm going to put a little wet line on my edges as well. And... Come on, focus. And fucking say. Okay. Right. Gonna make sure that I'm covering this. This uh track right there. My hair. There we go. God, now there's this fly flying around. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but. Why? Go away. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like just down and not doing anything with it. It looks really nice, really natural. It's blending with my hair beautifully. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Give you guys a back look. Great. But the way I like to wear it is behind the ears. I, this fly wants to be a YouTuber so badly. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I just like to wear it behind the ear. I don't know why, I just feel like it gives it more volume because it kind of just puffs this part up a little bit more. But... Should I get enough hair back here?
So this is what it looks like behind the ears. This is the way I like to wear it. So yeah, it's got a good amount of length on it, the 18 inches. And I love it. Like this specific hair, although it's not like super 4C, if you were to take a comb and like comb it out, you can get it to look definitely less defined and more like of an afro really kinky texture or like i said before you can define it kind of like how i did a little bit you can define your own hair to match it and you can have kind of this like almost like a wash and go look which is really cute and yeah i love it i wore it today my fiance you know i always you know take his uh, opinions and he said it looks like my own curl pattern like he knows what a curl pattern is you know you gotta educate them but uh, he said it matches my curl pattern which is pretty awesome pretty wicked if I do say so myself so yeah oh my gosh did you you guys saw it right I'm telling you every time I try to do this video something wanna happen a fly wanna come up in a video my files wanna get corrupted like what's going on it's okay you know it's fine but um, yeah, so this is what it's looking like, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Would you buy these clip-ins? Because I'm just saying, look at this. Two packs, y'all. Two packs. Imagine what three packs could look like. You could make it look really thick. You know what I'm saying? Add a little bit of who, a little bit of whoop. But yeah. And then as it like dries, since there is a lot of gel in it, it will have some more volume. Like throughout the day, my hair was growing because I did, when I first styled it, it was completely wet because I just co-washed it. So the volume definitely did grow. Leave a comment down below on what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you stick around because I will be testing out also the Janet Collection's kinky straight clip-ins. So you probably wanna see how that goes. So you wanna stick around, you wanna click that notification button and you wanna be subscribed so that you don't miss it, okay? Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.